What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. This is basically an everyday glam look for summer 2018. It's basically just kind of like the same eye I do all the time. <laughs> but the focus in this makeup tutorial isn't necessarily the eyes. This is just kind of like an easy glam eye that you could do every day. The focus is definitely on the skin and getting yourself some flawless, long wearing, uh, matte kind of sweat proof makeup for summer. And also this ooey gooey juicy lip that I'm in love with. This trend is probably my favorite summer makeup trend of all time. But yeah, you guys, I'm using a lot of the products I mentioned in my last video, which was my products I fuck with video. So if you haven't seen that, make sure that after you watch this one, you go head over there and watch that video as well. But I'm using a lot of those products in action today. So you guys get to see those. Um, but other than that, let me not babble on too much more. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long and I'm actually really happy to do it. I had a little bit of a mental breakdown in this video because my building is so goddamn loud and I was just having some like some technical difficulties in this video but we powered through we got the look done and I'm obsessed I need to go take a million and three selfies right now but without any further ado let's just jump right into the look I forgot how to record makeup tutorials What's up you guys? So we're going to start off this makeup tutorial with a little bit of primer. I'm going to be using today the CoverGirl uh, Pore Minimizing Skin Primer. I actually really like this stuff, especially with the CoverGirl foundation that we're going to be using later. So I'm just going to put this all over my skin and rub it in to prep for all of the other stuff that we're going to put on our face today. So I'm trying out a new mic or like my old mic. I'm trying to record my audio and my video separately and like put them together so that they sound a little bit better but we will see how it sounds yeah i don't know man we're gonna see i also have the mic on my camera so like if it's shit then we just have that anyway but we'll see okay so now that we've primed i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows i'm using the maybelline brow precise brow pencil i've been really really liking this to fill in my brows because it reminds me a lot of the anastasia brow wiz and you know, I love that thing. And the shade I'm using is, is it gonna tell me? <laughs> wow, okay, you're really not gonna tell me. I'm pretty sure this is blonde. I do feel like this brow pencil like goes so quickly though. Like I use it every day for a week and it's like done. And then I'm just gonna set them in place with the Pixi Brow Gel. And I'm just going to go ahead and carve them out with the NARS Com Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm almost out of this, so I need to find a new one ASAP. Okay, so for the skin today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in uh, Light Neutral, and I'm actually going to go ahead and spot conceal with this first before we put on concealer, I mean foundation, because the foundation that we're going to be using today isn't full coverage. And I do want full coverage, but I don't want to have to layer on a lot of the concealer because I just feel like in the summer, the less layers you have on or like the less amount of product you have on your face, the better. So I figure why not just spot conceal the spots that need it so that when the foundation does go on, you don't need as much and you can just do a light layer and you're completely covered where you need to be covered. Because if I just went in with a bunch of foundation all over my face, I would definitely apply more than I actually need. So this is going to make sure that I don't do that because <laughs> I have no self-control. And the Tarte Shape Tape is a great concealer to do this with because it's so nice and full coverage and just like glues to the skin. So it's perfect for summertime. You see already I have like so much coverage and we haven't even gone in with foundation yet. So the foundation we're going to be using today is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I did a full review on this. You guys can check it out. It was also in my last favorites video. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to go ahead with, I'm going to do three pumps of this and I'm going to put this all over my face. I am in the shade M10 and like I said before, this foundation isn't the most full coverage, but it does have a really great finish, especially for summer because it's so matte and it's just so lightweight that it feels like nothing on the skin and even if you're sweaty so even if you're sweaty and in the sun all day it's still gonna feel like nice and refreshing on your skin because it is so lightweight and because we're not gonna go in with a lot because we already spot concealed under so we don't need that extra coverage because we already did that step so it's gonna feel so nice and lightweight it's gonna feel like there's really not even anything on your skin but you're still gonna look flawless 
Okay, that is my face with the foundation on after spot concealing, and oh my god, I look flawless. I also look pretty damn matte, if I do say so myself. Not completely matte, still looking natural, and we are still gonna powder because it is summer and we need to set that shit down. But now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light to highlight under my eyes and brighten just my face in general. So I'm gonna go in with less than I would usually under the eye because lately I've been feeling like this concealer can just get a little bit thick. And sometimes throughout the day, like other things will wear off on my face and I'll still have like these bright ass under eyes. It just like doesn't match up with the rest of my face sometimes. So I've been using a little bit less of it and it's been working great. Go ahead and do that and then take your beauty blender and blend it out. I usually start in the center of my face where I put the concealer there because I like under my eyes to sit a little bit and kind of adhere to the skin. If you would like to cream contour, you can go ahead and do that this step. I'm not gonna do that for this video because I feel like the summer creams, cream contouring can get a little bit slippy and a little bit too much, like a little bit heavy on the face. So we're just gonna stick to powder contouring and bronzing today, but that is totally Totally up to you if you want to do it but I think for longevity wise and for just feeling most comfortable in the summer powder is the way to go for your cheek products because I don't know I just get sweaty very easily especially on my face I feel like this is the best my skin has looked in so long and I'm like breaking out right now but this combo of products is just so amazing do you see how flawless I look right now I mean I kind of look like an alien with these tiny ass eyes because I have no eyeshadow on but Looking fucking beat, girl. And take your time blending. Seriously, take your time blending. Makes all the difference. But now I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is the best fucking baking powder in the world. Take a little bit of that on my damn beauty blender and just go ahead under my eye and press that in. And honestly, my beauty blender is like kind of dry now because it's been sitting out for so long, but it's still working its magic. Don't you worry. <laughs> also take your powder and set the center of your face. That's gonna be super important for creasing between the eyebrows and also just like your nose and around your mouth melting off when you start sweating, which is the first place that sweats off. I also like to go right above my brows where I apply that concealer just to set them in place, lock it in. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit more, usually just whatever whatever's in the cap on a big fluffy brush and just kind of press this all over the face just to lightly set, not add too much product, not add too much powder, but just lightly set everything in place, especially so that the rest of your cheek products can blend on nicely. This is a super important step. But seriously, do you fucking see my skin? I'm, I'm living right now. I do need to shave my mustache, that's for sure. Ooh, girl. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna be using this old gem. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the shade number, I don't know, it honestly doesn't say. I, th I feel like it's the number two, but I could just be making that up. Basically, it's just this split pan of a really beautiful bronzer and a really fucking gorgeous highlight. I forgot how much I love this highlight. Um, I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Duo Fiber Brush and go into the bronzer and use this to warm up my skin. We're not contouring just yet. You could completely skip contouring if you don't want to do it. Um, I think it's really pretty for summer to just do like a bronze skin, not too much structure, just kind of like sun-kissed is so, so pretty. I like to chisel my shit, you know? So we're gonna go just on the cheeks, also around the forehead. I have to be careful about blending my forehead because like my edges will come up and I'll have to like redo my whole slick down look over here. But the duo fiber brush makes blending your bronzer so easy. It does the work for you and it just comes out so beautiful. Of course, I'm having an allergic reaction on my chin why wouldn't I thank you body you are so helpful then also just take it down your neck you can even do like a little on your chest a little on your shoulders because let's be real mama needs a tan a little on the nose I'm gonna contour my nose too but I feel like sometimes the center of my face can be a little too white and look weird once everything is on. So I like to just run a little bit bronze, a little bit of bronzer over it. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fiona Styles contour kit, the one I mentioned in my favorites video. I mean, my products I fuck with video. Um, I'm gonna take the uh, Real Technique contour brush and go into this darkest shade here and just go ahead and carve out my cheekbones. I love this brush, it blends it out so easily, but it still keeps it like concentrated in the area you want it. I don't know why I'm burping, bro. See the difference? Chiseled, not. A little around the forehead, we already bronze up there. Whoa, what did I just do? 
And then also right along the jawline, if you wanna hide your little double chin chin. If you're wearing something like me and your hair is up and your neck is exposed, then make sure this shit is blended because if you've got a mother like mine, she will call you out on it. Now I'm gonna take this brush here. This is the E70 medium angle shading brush. And I'm gonna go into the lightest shade in the contouring palette. And I'm gonna use this to contour my nose. I like to start halfway down my nose because I feel like sometimes if I bring it up here too, too far, it makes my nose just look like, I don't know. It's got like obvious, obvious contour on it. So I start like right here, bring it down and then bring like the excess up. Nose contouring is like a very new venture for me. I used to never do it. And now I feel like my face looks weird without it. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go in with the blush I mentioned in my favorites video. This is actually a highlighter. It is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. If you are a similar skin tone to me though, this is too dark for you to use as a, as a highlight. So I've been using it as a blush and I love it, especially for summer, like look how beautiful that looks on the cheeks. If you are darker than me and this does look beautiful on you as a highlight, go ahead and use it as a highlight because it's a gorgeous shade. Just try to find a glowy blush that looks good on your skin tone and it gives you such a beautiful glow for summer. I love it. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go back into that bronzer that we used and use the highlight side of it, which is fucking gorgeous. Do you see this? Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I'm using this controlled setting brush from Ecotools. Uh, in fucking incredible, Jesus, but blend it in. Make sure you can't see the line. Okay, guys, that's it for the skin. So let's jump into the eyeshadow. It's so, so simple. It's basically what I was wearing in my last video. So I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyes Palette. But I'm gonna go into the shade down here, which is called Au Naturel. I'm gonna take it on an E40 brush from Sigma. And I'm just gonna run this in my crease, like the very top of my crease, focus most of the color on the outer corner and do like circular motions, blending from inside to outside corners. Focus most of the color out here. I've been liking this look of keeping like most of the color out here and this being like really bright. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, I'm also gonna take that same color on this smaller Luxie brush and run this on my lower lash line. Once again, focusing most of the color on the outer corner, but pretty much bringing it all the way in. Okay, now I'm gonna take an E25 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Hookup, which is this gorgeous, like warm, darker brown. It's so freaking pretty. I'm gonna get it on the belly of the brush and I'm gonna pack this right on the outer corner, like literally just pack it up and down and then go ahead and start moving your brush in circular motions and slowly start working it into the crease, but m focus most of the color right here at the outer corner and then just slowly taper it in. But then if you wanna blend it more and you don't wanna get more product from your brush on your eye, you can just go back in with your E40 and blend it all together and just like kind of go back and forth between both brushes. And I'm gonna take that same smaller brush we used before and take the hookup shade and focus this, focus this like right on the outer corner basically just connecting the top and the bottom shades. Why am I out of focus? There's nothing else to fucking focus on. Okay, the next product we're gonna take is this really, really gorgeous Bobbi Brown Luxe eyeshadow. This is in the shade Heat Ray. Er, my God, this is like one of the most pretty eyeshadows I've ever seen in my life. This formula is fucking gorgeous. I'm literally just gonna take it on my, my middle finger, press it right on top of the lid. I like doing the pressing motion, like just with, using my finger just with the shadow because I feel like it transfers the glitter and like the shimmery finish way better than using any brush. I've tried a million brushes with it. I just feel like a finger is your best bet with this guy. I'm not gonna go all the way into the inner corner because like I said, I like keeping this really bright. I'm gonna take something else. Okay, now I'm gonna take a ColourPop shadow. This is in the shade Amaze and obviously it's like that same really pretty pinky tone, but lighter. I'm gonna take this on my ring finger, press it right on the inner corner to keep that same tonal effect a little bit bright, lighter and brighter on the inner corner. Okay guys, now to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a quick coat of mascara and then apply some false lashes. You absolutely don't need to do false lashes for this. I just wanna do it like for some cute pics and stuff and I just like wearing false lashes. But as an everyday look, like this looks just fine with just mascara. I mean, every look does, but you know me, I gotta be a little bit extra. So I'm gonna go apply this shit. I'm feeling super glam. By the way, I don't know if I said it, these are the Ardell Double Demi Wispies and they are like so perfect for like everyday glam. 
like they're not too much but they add like a flirtiness to your eyes and I love it so to finish up let's work on the lips the lips are so so easy I am so into this trend I'm seeing of just like super ooey gooey like glossy lips I'm so fucking into it because I love a glossy lip so so easy I'm just gonna take whirl lip liner and slightly overdraw my lips like I always do but basically just take a lip liner that's like your perfect lip liner shade probably like a lip liner that's like two shades deeper than your natural lip tone and I say two shades deeper because that's going to be like the perfect shade to kind of like contour your lips and give them some like shading okay now that I've lined my lips I'm just going to go in with like a lip oil kind of product the one I have that I'm going to use in this video they don't fucking make anymore which makes me so sad because it's incredible this is the essence prettifying lip oil and it's just a really really pretty lip oil that's got like a little bit of a reddish pink tint to it so it kind of gives your lips a little bit of color but not much at all it just kind of tints that tints them so that they look like alive um but there's also one that you guys can get now that I think is really pretty it's a shimmery one this is the lip icing in the shade cake this is the pixie and chloe morello collab and I really really love this product but I love this stuff so I'm gonna put it on my lips maybe I'll do both but like honestly this just makes your lips look so juicy and wet and like yeah like oily but yeah I'm so into this lip trend of like juicy ooey gooey lips like throwback to like early 2000s Lancome juicy tubes living for it Do they even make the juicy tubes anymore I need to go get one those are like every girl's dream in junior high uh juicy couture sweatsuit and a Lancome juicy tube and you were like on top of the world. I'm gonna take a little bit of this anyway and put it on top just for the shimmer. Loving, loving. You guys need this. This is such a bomb lip gloss. It feels more like a lip oil, but for summer, incredible. Lately, I've been thinking about getting lip fillers. Would you guys kill me? I don't know. And then of course, just to finish off the entire look and keep it lasting all day, I'm gonna take a spritz of the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and just set everything in place. Okay, you guys, that's going to be it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that if you did, you give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite beauty trend for summer 2018 is. And if you'd like me to do any other videos on any other beauty trends, let me know in the comments down below. I love you all so, so much. Make sure that you click subscribe before you head on out. Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one.